is a 1990 Mazda MX-5 which has been converted to electric. It has a 65 kilowatt three phase AC motor and 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage running at 120 volts. Its performance is very similar to the original petrol car. Hi, I'm John Spence and I'm going to tell you about how I went about converting my car. The objective at the beginning was to choose a car that was not going to date and was usable as a daily driver. I chose the MX-5 because it was small and exciting to drive. I started off by weighing the car on a set of scales and then from there I could select motors based on the gradient I wanted to climb and how fast it would accelerate. After I selected the components I started creating a bill of materials of all the parts I needed and I worked out the cost and was then able to start building the car. The interesting task for working out how to mount the motor in the car and how to connect the motor to the gearbox. Once this was worked out I could then work on where the battery should go and I did this by making fake batteries out of wood and positioning them so that they w the balance of the car would remain similar to original. The battery boxes were then folded out of sheet aluminium and welded. And once that was complete I could then focus on wiring the car. Before the batteries could be installed I needed to balance each battery so that it was the same voltage and, or state of charge before installing it in the car. So once they were all set to the same voltage they then were installed in the car, connected up and I was able to charge the car for the first time. And my first drive was just amazing. You should have seen the smile on my face as this car rolled out of the garage completely silently. It was just an amazing feeling. Some of the features of my car are the fuel gauge, which is a Coulomb counter, which counts the number of ampere hours that I consume out of the battery. In my case, when it reads zero, it's fully charged, and when it reads 150, it's fully discharged. It would be great to design a circuit that could run the original fuel gauge in the car. It also has a ground fault detector and what this does, it's a safety device that lets me know if any of the battery connections get shorted to the chassis of the car, which could make it unsafe. I'd like to tell you about a project I was involved with back in 1985 when I was part of a year 11 team that built a car for a build a car competition. Our design was three wheels and it was made of glass over ply. Um, this gave us great flexibility to have curves and complex shapes which added to the styling of our car. Um, it was also used by some of our art students to, as their art projects. One was the design of the seating itself. We made it to the finals in Wellington and um, these are some of the cars. I want to wish you good luck with your projects for eVelocity and remember to choose a team with a diverse range of skills and you'll end up with an exceptional result.